Tonight, millions of Americans from Texas to Louisiana are under threat of flash flooding. Torrential rain is swamping drought-stricken land. Near Flagstaff, Arizona, rushing water made the roads unpassable. And this week, there's more rounds of rain to come as storms move east. CBS's Danya Backus is tracking it all. Good evening, Jerica. It is still extremely dry here in Los Angeles, but across the west and southwest, there's a rush to clean up in the wake of powerful storms that left a muddy mess. Flash flooding in Moab, Utah, turned Main Street into a river overnight. The sudden deluge left some businesses in three feet of water, cut off roads, and prompted officials to urge everyone to stay inside. The powerful monsoon storms also caught hikers off guard at Utah Zion National Park, where crews are still searching for a missing person. In New Mexico's Carlsbad Caverns National Park, heavy rain made roads impassable, leaving more than 100 tourists stranded for hours. After an unprecedented amount of rainfall in one of America's driest regions caused millions in damage, Death Valley National Park is back open. The downpours aren't enough to ease the drought that nearly half the U.S. is under, including the Colorado River. The water shortage is so severe that U.S. officials have ordered mandatory usage cuts in Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico. A Colorado River pipeline leak has also prompted a new water ban in parts of L.A. County, already home to some of the toughest water restrictions in the country. Jerika? Danya back is for us tonight. Thank you.